Okay, so welcome Extraders, and we are going to do three very quick calendar plays. The first one is actually because it simply showed up on my screen when I loaded the simulated training, uh, simulated trading, sorry, with an incredibly large IV, although I just noticed that that's because it's November 4th weekly, but that's okay, 74 uh, to 67, no, nah, that's not that much, 74 to 67 is not that much at all. That's only a seven percent. Okay, so no, we'll stick to the ones that we were that I was originally planning on doing. So the first one was if I can type in here target, and the whole idea behind this is that you pick um, to sell, and we're going to take this down to ten because we don't need that many and singles, not iron condor. Uh, we pick. The uh, the days to expiry with the highest IV because we have earnings coming up in nine days, and then let me get rid of this. We pick the one that has the lowest IV that it could possibly drop down to. That we're uh, so like this one for example, the forty three ninety. So from sixty one to sixty one to forty three, well forty four. That's seven. That's a seventeen percent drop. Okay, so let's do that one. And what we do is we go over here to the chart for target, and we notice that it is trading within a specific range. And we're going to do it with a channel so that it's quicker. And the channel that I was looking at goes somewhere back there. Uh, we're going to say that it goes from here. Pretty much something like this. See, so that is the channel that we would expect it to trade in. And because it has earnings coming up, and I do feel a little bit bullish on this, our target is going to be somewhere up here, maybe around the 170s. So let's go back here and pick the 170 call that we're going to sell, the near dated, and then control key to buy the same 170 call bar dated and that gives us a 410 debit and in order to analyze this we quickly come over here and uncheck that oops uncheck that stock and there it is so this is what it looks like right now and if we fiddle with the date the expiry of that first one is November 18th, so we're going to take a gander here, see what it looks like on November 18th. It's something like that. And the probability of it being in here is around 49%. So that's a 50% probability. The other 50% is back here. And throughout most of that, uh, there is still about half, if it's linear, that we will still be at least uh, low pro low profit or um, or break even. So we're going to go ahead and send this trade. Of course, this is simulated, so that's fine. We're going to send it. The other one was similar, which is Walmart, that also has um, also has. Um, earnings and in this one mm, it's not so much up although I could see how it could chop around but it's it actually looks more like a uh, uptrending channel so it looks kind of more like that so we would expect it to drop down here but stay above probably this support right here if I could draw that real quick price level is going to be somewhere around this area here that seems to be a support somewhere right there okay so we wouldn't expect it to go past one maybe 130 uh, and we would aim for this to be somewhere around 140 probably so let's go ahead and go to our trade now this is Walmart Let's collapse these, close this order entry, 
and let's look at Walmart. Which one is the one with the highest IV? This one was a little bit worse than the other one. It's 34. So here. And then the biggest drop is uh, probably 27 because the further out you go, the more expensive that bought call is. So uh, in this case, we said one, mm, did we say 140 or 145? Uh, I believe 140 is up here. 145, definitely not. So it's either 140 or one, even 135. Now let's go back here. So the 140 is in the money, so we don't want to be selling anything in the money. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go out to the 145. Um, so that's the key there. You don't want to be selling stuff that's in the money because that, and then it's uh, likely to get assigned. If we sell the 140, there's a 54% chance it gets assigned, which is what the Delta tells us. Uh, and if there's a 54, then there's a 48, it won't be assigned. And if we, see, do, we do the 145, then that's a 33. It's still kind of close. Um, Let's go ahead and just, since this is a simulated trade, we're going to go ahead and sell the 145 and we're going to buy the 145 as well. And that will be like so. So that's a 269 debit. And again, we go and analyze this trade. And that is what it's going to look like pretty much on uh, the 18th with, um, hmm. Uh, this is interesting. 100% probability is that it's going to be over here. So that's kind of bad. Uh, so we should probably move this 140 down a little bit lower. So let me go ahead and remove this and go back to the trade and see if we can do a lower one. Oh, no, we can't because of the out of the money. Okay. So then it's going to have to be this one. And then we can go, we can compare both of those. Um, because it seems like uh, most of it, it would just be somewhere around here. So let's go ahead and confirm this one. Confirm and send. Simulated trade. Yes. Okay. And basically, that is what we're going to look at. We wanted to, uh, let me see, the S&P 5, S&P 100 is in here. And we wanted to customize this to um, days to expiry, I believe. Days to earnings. Days to earnings. Well, that's not. Hmm. Okay. Something going on here. Wait. Did I? Is this? Oh, this is not. This is the watch list, yes, and this is, yeah, customized. That's odd. Hmm. Days to earnings, it's not there. PS, days to earnings, no, that's not there either. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on, why it's not giving me that list, uh, but Anyway, you can see that from the chart. Uh, earnings is here, which is 11.15, and we're 11.3, so that's roughly nine days for Walmart to reach. Um, but we're gonna, we are gonna we need to close this before, so we have basically, if it's nine days to expire, then we have uh, minus the weekend, that's two, that's seven, so that's roughly seven days. So what is it going to be? doing in seven days well we would expect it to be not too far from the 145 um, although it does look like it's on its way down so let me just go ahead and add that so some text here we're gonna say seven days to expiry or to seven days that's actually the same thing <laughs> days to earnings uh, expect to hold about uh, three to four days chart looks like it's on its way down so bullish call calendar may not be the best play okay so since we did that then let's go ahead and put on 
a put trade. So the put would be that we expect it to go down to 135. So instead of being on this side, we're going to go over to this side. Let's go back and look at our chart. We would expect this to come down somewhere around 135. Yep, that, that looks pretty nice. So we would sell the one. Oh, can we get 12 in here? Yeah. We would sell the 135. And we would buy. Yeesh. Whoa, what is this? What is this going on here? Okay, so we sell the one. Did I? Oh, yes, it's selected the 135 and buy the 135. So there we go. Okay, so there is our uh, put calendar. And if we analyze this, this should be, yep, Walmart put put. Okay, so now that 100% is actually in our. Uh, uh, it, sorry, the maximum profit is in our 100% probability uh, slice, which is definitely what we want. So we want to go ahead and send this. And send. And we said the other one was target. It was the first one we looked at. Uh, the deal with target is that it is also, it, it didn't give us such a bad, like it gave us a 50-50 and probability. And then look at this, it's right in the middle of this channel but it is more likely headed down than it is headed up. So we might as well um, enter the target November, and I believe that was the same, was that the same date that I had the call? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yep, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to sell the, goodness, I forgot. This is probably headed down to 145, maybe even 140. Let's be on the safe side and do one. What did I say? 145, maybe 140. Let's do 145. Okay, so the 140. Oh no, no way. 145 is way in the money. Oh, sorry, this is out the money. These are puts. Okay. So what happens when you're doing things too quickly? 14, okay, now let's do 16. Goodness, 17, okay, oh, 18, there we go. Okay, so we sell the November front dated and we buy the 145, there we go. And that's a 341 debit. Let's analyze it, make sure it makes sense. Yes, so it is leaning more towards the um, the bearish side, and look at that. Now, 50% uh, chance is all green, and again, some is in the 50% uh, is in at least up to break even. So we're gonna go ahead and send both of these. All right. So there are our orders, which I believe show up in the monitor order history for working and these are going to um, we're gonna have to manage these when this thing opens on Monday because this will have fluctuated I'm going to actually take a screenshot of this so I can because I might be at the office and I won't have access to my uh, thicker swim so there we go we'll check these on Monday and see how we did uh, getting into our calendars and ride those at least Wednesday max Thursday all right See you then. Uh, this is, uh, these are all the uh, the ones that I haven't created groups for because I did this yesterday. Um, and basically we have, this is by instrument, this is grouped by instrument. So it's Target and Walmart. So if you open up the Target one, you can see, uh, and this is the 145 put calendar. And these guys should be grouped together. Uh, and then, uh, see here, again, rename group, okay. So basically what I'll do is I'll put this, uh, here we go, move to group. There we go, bearish diagonals, what do you know? Okay, so there's the, is that the 145? Yep, the 145, okay, so and then we'll move this one. Move to group bearish diagonals. 
All right, so there's the t there's the target uh, put um, calendar. Oh, that one's named diagonals. Okay, that's weird. So this is a calendar, and we can look at this. Uh, analyze rolling trade. No, analyze closing trade. No, that's not what we want. Okay, so this is um, one that I took on uh, yesterday. Actually, today at the beginning of the day, and. Uh, uh, so following up on what this is looking at, like it's uh, it's obviously bearish, so it's down. I mean, so it's up 25.50. Obviously, if we go to target, okay, you can see that it had a down day today. Again, this is the daily. Yep, had a down day today, um, and uh, and and that's why it's up. So that's up 25.50. Uh, okay, let's leave that like so. Let's go ahead and grab the other target. This is going to be a bearish one because it was 170, so we're going to move to a group. OK, we need to add the group. OK, so that's not going to work. OK, uh, but this one is up actually 750. OK, so that's what that one is. It's up 750, uh, even though it is uh, a bullish calendar because the target price is 170, whereas the uh, put one is 145. Okay, so not so bad on the target one. Both of them are up. Uh, and then the Walmart one, actually, let me do it the other way to the chart first. What we were expecting here on target is that it's basically just going to bounce around, and both of these is that they're just going to bounce around this level. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this was actually good. It did open up higher, but it did close uh, lower. So the Walmart one, uh, we have this channel, uptrending channel, <clears throat> and um, even though it, it might kind of hover around, we were expecting to hold this for a few days, and we were expecting it to actually drop. So the Walmart one was the one that we actually expected to be more bearish out of the two, the target <clears throat> more neutral and again this one opened higher but closed lower so if we go back here and we look at the Walmart ones uh, again we'll move the put over to the bearish diagonal and this one as well to the bearish diagonal there we go so now our Walmart put calendar is actually only 50 cents down and our Walmart um, call diagonal is seven dollars down. Okay, so we're actually doing pretty good. We're up 25 and we're down uh, 50 cents. So we're basically up 24.50. Sorry, 25.50. So we're doing pretty good on those calendars. I took two. I took both sides uh, for a reason. I basically wanted to use it as an example for myself, as a teaching example for myself. Uh, what happens when you or, or how to manage a trade like this. Okay, so I would basically expect this uh, next week in general is expected to be a bearish week. So we probably wouldn't expect um, this to go back up towards the top of that trend line. It is very likely that it might continue back down. So this might end up being um, uh, as bearish as we expected it to. And that means that that's for that's for Walmart. That means that this fifty cent uh, put vertical that we have up here for Walmart might go a little bit further in the money. And this one was, was which was negative seven is probably going to end up uh, more negative because that was a bullish call calendar. Um, but we have about nine days to go on that, or eight days to go now. So uh, they will offset themselves and what I basically want to do is I want to get an idea for um, you know just how much uh, because this basically moved what 25 cents that's what Walmart moved today okay during the day and Target moved 17 cents all right so both of these barely moved and just you know just like that we made $25 you know just with the um, uh, with the movement uh, on both of these, Walmart and Target, today. So 
uh, this will be an interesting experience into uh, into next week. And I believe, okay, yeah, it's taking both of them, so it's <laughs> considering it a double calendar, which it is not. Uh, sorry, there's the put one. Uh, sorry, the call one. The call one looks like that. So we're expecting it to go up. Uh, and right now we're barely above. So we're right there. Um, that's for the call on target. And for the, the put on target, uh, we are here at 25 bucks, which is exactly where we're at. And expecting, you know, uh, some more uh, downside. Okay, so that's for the Target. I don't believe the Walmart is on here. Uh, so let me go over here and probably select the Walmart. And then go back to here. No, this is not going to show me my, for some reason. Not going to show me my positions for Walmart. Uh, sorry, that one. And this one, let's see if I select them. Will they show up? Nope. So that's because the ticker is there. Oh. There we go. So there are, uh, let's get rid of the, the puts. Let's just look at the calls. So there's our call calendar on Walmart, where we're obviously losing $7, and there it is. And um, because it moved down. And now let's look at our put calendar on Walmart which is pretty good, and there it is, uh, moving towards our target of 135-ish, which is actually below the 145. All right, so that is um, what the, uh, the calendar spreads look like, and with that, I will close out this week. Uh, and uh, let's just, just remembered that we were over here looking at um, we wanted to, to think about these because we had tomorrow, next week is actually going to be a bearish week. So why did I just write out call plays if we expect next week to be bearish? Well, if you look at the tickers that we're talking about, they are not tech. And what's mostly bearish, the money that's leaving the market right now is because it's risky growth stocks. The ones that, if you notice what I focused on this week, uh, for the month of November, uh, Bank of America, financials, XLF, financials, Oxy, oil, uh, Pfizer, you know, uh, uh, is, uh, is pharma. It's probably, it's not, high, I mean, it's high tech, but it's, you know, it's healthcare. Uh, and then AT&T, which is communications, which, eh, it's not as high tech as, you know, some other names uh, that you might consider. I mean, AT&T is the most solid player in the market, the biggest one by far. So it's not considered such growth, such um, uh, such a high-risk stock. So that's why I'm uh, playing the calls, okay? And uh, that is what I would expect to, uh, to do next week is to have a bullish sentiment on all of these. And the ones uh, like Walmart and Target are the ones that... I took both the, the, the bullish and the bearish calendars uh, just to get a feel for those calendars. Okay, so I hope uh, this week taught you something about anything, and hopefully next week will be much better. <laughs>